So here's how I would start off the tricks. So I would show you guys over here um, that in this red deck, I've actually drawn a whole bunch. It's kind of like a little flip ramp, so you can go through and you can see exactly what's going on. So a little guy is going to go through his hat and he's going to pick a random card, right? So we don't know what that card is yet, so what I'd have you do is go ahead and think of any card you wanted to, um, kind of like an invisible deck trick. So let's say you were, let's say you were thinking of the card, uh, but since you're not here, I'm going to go ahead and simulate that just by picking out a random card from this deck over here. And let's say you were thinking of a card and you happen to think of the Queen of Clubs, right? So literally out of any single card in the deck, you happen to be thinking of this card right here, which is the Queen of Clubs. So this is what's going to happen. So let's say we take your Queen, all right, your Queen of Clubs. And like I said before, you could have picked any card in the deck. And we've already shown you that our friend here has already gone through his, uh, through his hat. And look, I'll show you guys really quick. As I go through and riffle through the deck, you can see every one of his little motions. He's going to go ahead and pick that queen of clubs. So this is the trick, and if you guys wanted to not forget to search out for the tutorial. All right, so I'm just gonna go really quick and kind of like break down this deck. Um, so this is the card trick that I believe, um, I saw this on Britain's Got Talent, I think it was like a couple years ago, and it's honestly really, really old, but I happened to find this deck, and um, I forgot I completely had it, and it's actually it's actually super cool. So essentially, it's you can look it up, and I, actually I'll probably leave a link in the description box where you can find it. It's just like a little cartoon deck, um, and essentially each one of the faces it truly is a little flip book So it truly is just one of these things on the bottom So that's how you reverse it this way and then if you reverse it the other way you can see all the cards Are on the other side so what you have to do is this is how it works So the very bottom card is a blank card Okay, so there's no names of any of the cards here just yet So you can go through ripple it no one's gonna see anything until you actually get to the trick. So at this point, let's say the spectator is gonna pick any card. So we, the only reason I use the deck is uh, because I just wanna let you guys know that I was using a random card. So at this point, let's say the spectator said any card, let's say they were to say maybe like the seven of hearts, right? So what you would do, if they were to say the seven of hearts, you would go through the cards. It's super, super simple, guys. You just go through the cards, you find the seven of hearts, you can make up whatever small talk you want or something until you get there. And the way it works is you actually have to take the seven, okay, but don't plop out just the seven, okay? You kind of hold the cards like you're still spreading them, okay, nothing's out jogged. All you do is while the spectators are focused on that seven or whatever card they're, they're, uh, they picked, you just have to put a pinky break underneath the next card below. So in this case, this is going to be the six of hearts. So you pull off their card, get a pinky break, the card below that leave their choice onto the pinky break. You can square that up and then what you do is you push forward both cards. So in this case I actually do have both the seven and the six in that grip just like that. So you push this forward. All you have to do is square up the deck or so. And then again what you have to do is swivel the cards because remember look on these are the edges or these are the sides that the cards are actually on. So this is where um, at the end of the trick, the spectators are going to see that. So you actually have to pivot these cards out of the deck. And you can put them back on top of the deck just like that. And then you can release the pinky break. And this is going to be your setup, right? So you have the seven and then the card below it as well. All you have to do is a super, super simple wrist kill. So you're going to hold on to that seven and then pry away the card below it so they don't see that the bottom's changed. In this case, you have the six of hearts there. The seven can go on the table so they can see it. And like I said, guys, you want to have the card that's below their picks. In this case, the six of hearts. You want that on the bottom, not necessarily the card they picked. And now all you have to do, because you've switched the cards, when you swivel them out of the deck, the trick is actually set up and ready to go just like that. And the last card will be the card they selected. So in this case, the seven of hearts. So it's super simple. Um, that is it. And then all you have to do in order to reset the card trick is put the cards back in the order you had them twist them around and then you can put them right back into the order that you found and the trick is going to be good to redo just like that obviously you don't want the spectators to see you redoing the card trick but as you guys can see if you don't actually put the cards back the right way you're going to get a little flash which isn't good so you want to go ahead and fix that mistake just by putting the cards back in the same order but that's essentially it so that's it for the card trick guys i'll leave a link for the cartoon deck and then um, that way you guys can do the trick as well. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, go and do so. And as always, thanks for watching.
She's a little old vampire. 